why hoes and tramps no longer skis or whatever you want to call them no longer bother me queen with soft eye boutique so i had to really accept that those women exist because there's a demand so where there's a demand there's going to be a supply and so that is who some men want i'm not saying all but that's who they want and that's who they desire so they're there for them and we're also in a time to where holes are really winning even if this is one of the main reasons why i do not practice family law one of the main reasons why i don't practice family law because how can i tell a woman who has been subjected to infidelity her husband has cheated on her with another woman that society really doesn't care they don't care and really there's some other spiritual consequences that may or may not happen and i may create another video about that at a later date but for the most part the mistress the whole all of that she's actually winning because she doesn't have to deal with nearly as much if anything that the wife has to deal with and she gets the man at his best self he's happy he's stress-free she's getting money she's getting coitus which is intercourse and they're just having a grand old time And she also can be with other men as well. Versus you have the wife. Yes, I know some other wives step out, but we're not talking about that. I'm talking about the women who are truly, you know, sticking to their marital vows. And they really believe, you know, I'm in this union. So I'm only going to be with this man until if I, if they get a divorce. So I don't, just these things that we see on TV, these music videos, don't watch it. Don't engage. The more you engage. So this is the thing. When I was a child, I didn't fully understand how all of that content that I was forced to consume made its way to me. And as I got older, I realized that the reason why I was forced to watch those videos, see that music, excuse me, listen to that music see those photographs was because the adults around me were consuming that content so if you care about young children you won't consume that content to even argue against it so arguing with it is a form of consumption you're creating and you're triggering the algorithm now things have sped up more than they have back then because back then they actually had to distribute and disseminate, you know, the whether it was adult entertainment type videos and photographs or whether it was a music video or some type of pinup photo or a song. You actually, it was the algorithm was still being triggered, but it, it wasn't triggered as quickly as it is now since everything is pretty much digitized. So I don't even engage with that. I'm not even going to name the name of these rappers or these singers. Y'all know who I'm talking about without me talking about it. None of, nothing that they say is empowering. Absolutely nothing. A woman telling you about her body and her sexual choices, in no way would that empower you. In no way whatsoever. So I'm not even going to name them because I don't listen to them. The only reason why I know about them is because... I engage with the internet and social media through this page, Soft Eye Boutique, and my law firm's page as well. And I have to really scroll really fast because you have the viral videos, you have the songs, and they just blasting it out to you. So that's the only reason why I hear it. But I don't actually, I, I, I don't engage with it because I'm not arguing with it saying, I don't want to see it. I'm not reposting it saying, look at this. This is, you know, this hypersexuality is bringing the black community down. Even when you do that, you're triggering the algorithm, the algorithm, and that's pushing that more to our children. So the best way to stop that is to stop engaging with it. If you don't want to deal with that, if you don't want to see that, 
And I need to get out the mindset of our community because y'all know I made a video about that. There's no community. So <laughs> there's no black community. But don't engage with it. And just accept the fact that there's men out here. That's what they want. That's the type of, I don't care what you're saying. They're going to marry them. They clearly they have a children with them. But who cares if they're not going to marry them? They're still engaging with them. They still want them. They still have a desire for them. So they're going to be there. They're still going to pay for these adult entertainment type services and fetishes. It is what it is. They're, they exist. The same women that people compl complain about who are so-called bringing down the image of the so-called black community. They exist because there are men within the community that want them to exist, that desire them. And I think that's really hard for a lot of black women to accept that the men truly desire them. Truly desire them. So no matter what they say about he's just a man and a man will screw anything, that's because he desires to screw it. That's because he desires to implant, to insert himself within her. And that's what it is. And the more I've accepted that, the more I'm, I feel free and at peace. And, you know, that, that's just what it is. Like, I don't live this good girl image. I've gotten to the point where I don't care what, what anybody thinks about me or says about me, let alone somebody within the so-called community. I don't care. You know, I'm not telling people to go out there and wild out. You know, you can live your life as you choose to do so. But just know that when you do that, that's just a personal moral choice that you're making within yourself. It really doesn't reflect out to the main community. I mean, especially if you're still making all these podcasts, making all these, writing all these think pieces and things, you're still engaging with that content. You're still triggering the algorithm. And it's still pushing it to the children. So the best thing you can do really is just ignore it. Now, if it comes within your reality, if that woman actually try, you know, do what you got to do. I ain't going to tell you what to do, what I would do in that situation. Definitely not going to put that on camera and, <laughs> and record what I would do if it's directly in my reality and in my world. But like I said, just don't even engage with it. I don't engage in none of that stuff because I got to the point in my life where I literally dress like this because I want to and I feel comfortable and I like to do it. It's not for me to be for my daddy, no man, nothing like that. I feel comfortable dressing like this and that's it. So queen with soft eye boutique.